and we are back we are going for a ride but there have been a lot of storms this year and the trails are in bad shape i mowed them not too long ago but with the rain and the sun they have grown back insanely fast as you can see it essentially looks like nothing has done with multiple storms there is so many trees down so we've got the chainsaw on we're gonna go we're gonna clear it and we're gonna get all of it open again and then we're gonna cut it all over again it's not too bad riding i don't have like a holder for the chainsaw but it's not too bad riding on the lap i wouldn't want to go long distance with it just kind of sitting there but it worked towards the end of this video you can tell that the uh chainsaw is getting a little duller and taking a little longer than whoop we'll pretend that didn't happen all right as you can see the first biggish one it's all deadfall for the most part with a lot of like younger green stuff snapped over which is really annoying to clean up and we'll get to that the dogs were an absolute pain and they kept trying to bite everything as you can see as I was throwing logs, they try and catch them out of the sky, no matter the size. So I had to throw them strategically. There is something satisfying about this clearing brush kind of situation. I have no idea what I'm doing also, so don't judge me. I'm just kind of cutting away and trying to make it as easy for me as possible. Absolutely no clue. It's like that classic satisfying sound of a chainsaw going off that is somehow pleasing. And for some reason, I still have my helmet in. There you go. See what I'm talking about? No matter what size of stick I threw, they try and jump after. Thank you. So we've got most of the big stuff. Now this is like general maintenance of them out here. A lot of this stuff just falls in the way, grows up every single year. And then especially once this kind of weather hits, it just kind of leans and flows right into the trail. So we try and cut back as much as we can. 
Don't worry about cutting too much. So literally, by next year, everything's gonna grow back to look exactly the same. Check out my other video if you want to watch me mow this about three weeks earlier. We do it a little bit slow, but we still fast forward it. With a bit of a low mower action, we managed to widen it out. This is the next day, and there was a storm last night. So pretty much this starts us back over from everything we did yesterday, and we go back at it again. Bigger storm than yesterday, so a lot more kind of living live trees to go. We attempt to go for a ride, but it fails pretty miserably as you'll see here. And then we get back to clearing up everything.
branches are definitely heavier to move than the deadfall that came down previously. We have to chop them up a little smaller. There are also a lot more of them. Like these were bigger trees significantly. So we did our best. We cleared them up and then just twisted them off the trail as good as we could. You can see how nicely cut it is. So once it's all cleared up, it's ready to ride another day. I guess I should lock the brakes on the uh, quad instead of just leaving it up at the top of a hill behind me.